Hey guys, James here again, and today we're going to be having a bit of a shooting session. Obviously, I know I haven't posted a lot recently, um, so I thought I'd just show you what we've been up to. Now, reviews-wise, not so much. Test-wise, been doing a lot. Now, we picked up the new Chris Defiance. Now, there have been videos of this recently. Um, Neil over at Rack and Load has done a review. Now, personally, I haven't had this long enough to form an opinion. I want to get to know it a little bit better. So today is basically just ammunition testing. I want to know what will this gun run um, comfortably and happily out of the selection of ammunition that I've got. So we're going to start off with the people's favourite, or at least uh, the favourite out of the guys I shoot with, which is the CCI Subsonic Hollow Points. And obviously once this is suppressed, once you put a moderator on it, it will bring the noise right down. And running subsonics, we should get a, a much more usable um, and people-friendly volume. So we'll start off with those. We're going to do 10 rounds of, uh, of each. And then we'll move on. We'll try, um, I've got the RWS um, Semi-Auto. We've got some CCI Velocitors, um, some Remington Golden Bucket ammunition. Um, it is what it is. It's not... Uh, it's not fancy um, and then I've also got the Federal Game Shock now I know when we first did the video for that people were asking that's great you've done it through bolt actions but will they run through semi-autos so today we're going to try it through the Chris so say let's me waffling on we'll get a magazine in um, 10 rounds of the uh, of the subsonic ammunition and we'll just see exactly what this gun can do um, sort of accuracy wise later on but more at the moment just trying to see what it will cycle efficiently with so anyway guys, 10 rounds, let's uh, see what happens. Okay, so that was 10 rounds perfectly, uh, perfectly as they should have done. And as you can see, it's got the last bolt back, um, or the last lock, shall we say. So when you fire the last round, the bolt holds itself to the rear. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, so next up on our uh, on our, our list of things to try are the CCI Velocitors. Now these are firing at 1,435 feet per second, and it's a 40 grain projectile. So these things are going to be flying at some quite uh, some quite considerable uh, sort of force. Now they are hollow points, which is interesting. But because they are flying um, sort of high velocity, they are going to make quite a crack. So um, I've seen reports on these, apparently they are quite heavy on the gun, so we won't be using a lot of them. But we've got them to hand, so we're going to see if they'll fire through the, uh, through the Defiance. So again, 10 rounds. Okay, so that's all clear. Again, they cycle perfectly, which is quite nice to see. So we're gonna change things up. Obviously we've done two CCI brand ammunition now. So we're gonna move across to the Remingtons. Now these, uh, they are what they are. You can see just looking at them, this is cheap ammunition. So uh, it'd be interesting to see if it cycles, how that works, um, and we'll go from there. Okay, so as I said a second ago, this is the Remington. Now this is their kind of golden bucket 22. Now, just looking at this ammunition, you can see that it's a lot um, more agricultural, so we say. It's not as refined as a CCI. Um, the, the rounds just don't look as good. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how they cycle, because these things come in about six pounds per 100, um, so 100 shots. So if it's a good cycle, um, but maybe not best at grouping, it'll be good for plinking, you know, if you just want to shoot some plates. Um, but as I say, it's got to be, uh, it's got to be efficient and good at cycling. So Let's see how these get on. Okay, so first fort, just place this on safe. You might be able to see here that it's not gone into battery. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the forward assist, which is a functioning forward assist, um, and just basically just drive the round home and see if, uh, see if we can get it to fire from thereafter. Okay, so what I've just done is, just off the camera, as you would have seen me using the... Um, the forward assist there, which on this rifle is actually functioning, is I've just cleared it and loaded it again, and the bolt was driven home perfectly. So what we're going to do is we're going to fire off those 10 rounds, nice and controlled, um, and just see how they cycle. Obviously, whether that was just an initial teething problem as such, 
um, or whether it's uh, sort of a, a better omen for how these rounds are going to sort of perform. So anyway, 10 rounds just down at this bank. Okay, so that's the uh, the Remington. Now they did work. Obviously, we had a little bit of teething problem at the start there, but they seem to have cycled quite nicely. So we'll keep playing with those, keep testing them, because I mean, for six pounds for a hundred shots, plinking wise, that's going to be perfect. So what we we'll do now is we'll just move on to the um, to the Remington no, RWS, sorry, RWS semi-automatics. Now these are designed purely for semi-autos, so it'd be interesting to see how it gets along in the Defiance. So yeah, let's load up. Okay, so these are the last of the rounds that we're going to be trying today, and these are the RWS semi-autos. Now, it's another 40 grain projectile, just a solid ball head, um, but what it doesn't tell me is the velocity on the packets. I can't tell you how quick they're going, but loading them up, they've got a bit of a waxy feel to them, so I think they've been designed just to kind of be really quite fluid for a system. So it'll be interesting to see how they, uh, how they function for the Defiance. Now, out of all the ammunition that we've tested, these are the most expensive, so... Again, be interested to see how they go. So we've got 10 rounds in here. We'll fire them off uh, nice and controlled again over at the bank. Um, and then, yeah, that'll be us pretty much done. So let's see how they, uh, how they perform and how they get on. Okay guys, so finally, just before we get to the end of the video, um, I'm just going to try something a little bit different. Now I know these aren't going to cycle. Um, when we tested them for the bolt action, they didn't um, give me much confidence. There was no felt kind of recoil, there was literally nothing. So I don't think these are going to have the oomph to, to push themselves forward. Now these are the Federal Game Shock. Now you would have seen a video that we did quite recently. Um, and these are basically shotgun rounds for your rifle. So they're 22 long rifle cases, but they're full of number 12 shot. Um, and when we did the video, I know Neil from um, Rack and Low basically said, do they cycle for a semi? Now, I only had the, the CZ455 on that particular day, but obviously today we've got the Chris. So I'm going to put them in. I know they're not going to work. I've only got five um, rounds in here. If they eject, it'll be a miracle, um, and I'm, I'm happy to be proven wrong. So anyway, five rounds to see if these things work. Okay, so that was a failure to eject. Now, as I expected, um, that didn't work. There is a round that has failed to eject. Um, and that's what caused the double feed there. So I'm going to go ahead and clear that. I can see on the primer that it is a spent round, so it's not uh, it's not going to go off at all. So I'm just going to uh, prise it out. Um, but yeah, they don't work. So anyway, let's move on to the conclusion so I can get back in the warm. So that's me all done with the Chris Defiance. Now, I say, I've not had this gun long enough to form an opinion to do the review. So at the moment, I'm just in the process of working out what ammunition to use. Now, we've got um, four really good starting points here. Now, the Remington is probably my least favourite. Um, that was the one that we had issues with it feeding um, on the first round. Once you've used the forward assist and you've brought that round into battery and then fire onwards, it seemed okay, but obviously if you're using this for um, sort of action shooting, for plate shooting, staged, you know, free gun events, when you drive that bolt home, you want to know that it's going into battery and that you can get straight on your target. You don't want to be worrying about, oh, you know, where is it? Are we clear? You know, tap, tap. You just want to magazine in, bolt forward, off you go. And I don't feel that that would have been suitable um, with, the, um, with the Remington. Now, the RWS rounds cycled the nicest. Um, they were really fluid for the system. They didn't kick as much as the Vlotus tours, but as I say, they are more expensive. Now, the CCI subs, now, for pest control duties, I think they're going to be the best, to be honest. Um, they seem really nice, um, and they seem to focus really nicely. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go away, continue testing this amazing rifle out, um, and in the coming weeks, maybe a month or so, I will bring it back to your screens, 
um, for a bit of, of further testing as such. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see more from the Chris, feel free to subscribe. We'll have plenty more videos on its way. But anyway, any comments, any questions, post them below. Otherwise, see you next time.